I think that this is a conversation that is needing to be had, not just for anyone who watches me on YouTube, but also just something to have in my head as well, because I don't want people to have misconstrued feelings or any kind of parasocialness, any kind of one-sided relationship toward me, basically. I am not your friend. Before we get this completely started, I just want to say that I do remember this kind of video being brought up, especially with Ludwig. His video will be down in the description below. I would really encourage you guys to kind of take a look at that. There are also more videos that are available on the internet where people have talked about that they are not your friend, and it's basically the same concept. Why am I bringing this up, you ask? Well, the reason why is because that I feel like that I have shared way too much about myself on the internet. Now, I'm not going to go through every single video that I've ever posted about myself and just start deleting it, unless it's like a few major ones, because I don't, I don't like that I had gotten so personal with everybody on my YouTube channel. I, I wish that I could have been doing things a little bit differently in that aspect. I wish that I could have been a little bit more of the entertainer that I'm aspiring to be and not so much a person that, oh, this happened to me yesterday. I, now I need to talk about it like it's a big deal or something because it's not a big deal. I feel like that the more that I share my personal stuff with everybody, people are going to get too emotionally involved. And the reason why that I want to make it known that I am not your friend is because I can't be your friend. There is no way that I can personally be your friend. I don't really know you guys. And I'm pretty sure that most of you guys know it, but I'm pretty sure there's also a small portion of people, very small, that still feel like that they need to be involved with everything that's going on in my life. And as much as I do appreciate the thought of people actually caring about what all is going on with me, instead of it being like, oh, well, I got to do everything that everybody else likes, it still is feeling way too much of a parasocial relationship, and I do not want any part of it. I have shared a lot of things that have been going on in my life, whether it has been certain or recent activities, like whenever people have died in my second family, or whenever I have lost my dog, or whenever I've been talking about quitting smoking, or anything like that. And it's something that I thought at the time was something where it's like, hey, you know, it's going to be something that I, I want people to kind of feel inspired like, hey, there is someone who is struggling with the same BS as me, but they're just doing what they can to try and push through everything. And it's kind of an inspiration in a way, because even though that there are things that are a struggle in my brain, I just kind of push through and just kind of work through it. And I want to try and get people to feel that same way, where if they have problems, you just got to keep moving day after day. You can't just stop your entire life because one thing went wrong. But somewhere along the line, because my brain doesn't work 100% the way that it's supposed to, I have made it to where I have shared way too much with everybody. And now I do get barraged with people saying, hey, this is something that is some like really bad and I know that you've talked about this before and I don't want something bad to happen to you and I'm going to keep hounding it into your head like hey don't do this or hey like th this is very dangerous you, you you see what I'm talking about I'm not saying that I don't give a damn about people sending me messages and hoping for the best for me I do appreciate every message every kind message and honestly, any kind of message with any constructive criticism, I do appreciate any of those messages because at least someone does give a damn and they just want to help with having me succeed. Whenever it comes to certain things that are going on in my personal life, I have made it too much of everyone else's business and now I'm trying to retract it. It's hard for me to go live on a stream whenever I am wanting to either play a game or just talk to you guys in general and just have, you know, conversations just about whatever. And whenever people start talking about things that I've mentioned months and months ago, it's very hard for me to want to do those live streams because every time, and I mean every time that I have gone live, there is always one or at least one person 
that wants to bring up something that has been said before or that a topic that I've touched on and they want to reiterate like, hey, how are you doing? And oh, well, I just noticed that this is happening. Please don't do this. Please, please, please. I don't know any of you behind the screen. If something happens with me, if something happens to where I don't post on this channel anymore, you guys are going to go for the next YouTuber. Just like w whether I have a million subscribers or a hundred subscribers. If something happens to this YouTube channel, you guys will be like, well, he just stopped uploading. I might as well just not even be over here anymore. Unsubscribe and move on to the next YouTuber. That's how it always happens. That's what everybody does. It's a normal phenomenon. So if something happened with me tomorrow, I don't expect people to be here in five years whenever I decide to make a comeback onto this YouTube channel and be like, oh, thank God you're fine. Because if you're still here and I haven't posted in five years and all of a sudden I post again and you're sitting there wondering if something bad has happened to me and you're sitting there worrying about it day after day, wondering if something happened to me, then you need to go touch grass because my life should not impact any kind of worry or notion or anything that goes on in your head. The only reason why I'm here is to make entertaining content for you guys to make you guys have a little bit of a less shitty day than what you're already having. That's what I've always wanted on YouTube. If I have a really bad day, then I want to be able to get onto YouTube and see someone do something silly, either play a game and rage quit at it, or talk about like a funny story, or make some cool concepts, and just have a little moment where I can escape from reality. And that's what I try to do with my YouTube channel. But unfortunately, because of my dumbass self, I have mentioned so much personal things that there are people who are stuck on those personal things. And they don't want to just talk about the content or just kind of, you know, hey, hope you're doing well and just, just like leave a quick message or something. And I get it. I get it. People always want to be able to be like, hey, I'm here for you. I, I want the best for you. But that's not where the YouTube or Twitch or any online community will stand. I don't know you guys. I appreciate and love that you guys love the content. And I'm glad that you guys have been subscribing and following what I've been doing and liking the videos. But I'm going to hold back on giving out any more of my personal life or my personal struggles because it's not going to be healthy for me to do so not necessarily unhealthy for me but unhealthy for the community that i'm trying to grow thank you guys for everything that you've been doing but just remember i'm the monkey with the strings attached and there's a puppeteer right above me that's trying to get me to do all sorts of wacky things to make you guys either laugh or to be entertained that's all i'm here for i am not your friend if I go tomorrow, I expect you guys to go to the next YouTuber that will make your day a hell of a lot better than what I did. And that's all I expect from this community.